back to my channel it's Ken and I'm back with another video and in today's video I'll be doing a part two to my viral TikTok food hacks now before we even get into it make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys subscribe and comment down below if you liked my video and join the family guys because videos be coming out and if you're not a part of the fam you're missing them. you don't want to miss none so let's just get straight into this video no long introduction um yeah let's get into the first food hack and see if this is going to be a hit or a miss let's go yeah i'm really nervous for this one because i don't want to make a mess i don't want to have this stuff going everywhere but let's just get into the hack so i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen this before take a watermelon you have three drinks and you're supposed to stick them inside the watermelon let this sit for a few hours and it is supposed to change the color of the inside of the watermelon that's what's supposed to happen so we're gonna go ahead and start this process to see if it really works i don't think it's gonna work i've seen people do it but i don't know <laughs> i feel like I don't know see if this hack is a hit or a miss now y'all i don't even drink soda but like that's the only thing i could truly really find um in the store that was like a different variation of colors yeah i don't drink soda at all so but i got mountain dew then i got orange crush and another mountain dew but a real first things first i'm gonna take off one of these tops I'm gonna take one of these tops and I'm gonna put it on a watermelon and I'm gonna cut it out. That way y'all, it's perfect. It fits perfectly and there's no issue. Oh my Lord, this ain't safe. I'm trying to get deep in there that way the, um, the soda could actually, you know, penetrate down in there. I'm trying to make a deep hole. So I have three hideous holes at the top. It's just so hard to cut. Let's go ahead and start adding the drink. And this part I'm nervous for because I feel like it's gonna go everywhere. I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two, three. It's like fizzing out. Good, good thing I got this underneath of it, but I feel like this isn't gonna stay unless I press it down some more. Boom, okay, there we go. That's in there, it's, oh, and it's, it's, I mean, most of it probably went on the freaking table and inside this bowl. All right, next one. Should I do the middle, y'all, or do the outside next? Okay, let's just do the middle. Let's see if it goes down in there. Okay, this one ain't moving, meaning I'm gonna have to make some, I'm gonna have to make a hole in this. This is gonna be the hard one. I'm nervous. One, two, three. No! <laughs> I need help! Okay, y'all. <laughs> I just made a mess on that one. Like a lot of mess. But all right, last one. One, two, three. I didn't want the bed, y'all. That one wasn't bad at all. It's, y'all can't see it from the front. Let me turn it around. So as y'all can see, this orange one right here is just oozing all out. These two are fine. This one, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna let this sit for like a few hours and then come back. Y'all, I feel like, should I put holes in this? This is a... The watermelon is being, becoming like deformed. It didn't look like this at first. Like, it, it, it wasn't as hard. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna just sit it to the side and we're gonna let it do what it do. And then we're gonna come back to see if the inside changed. First hack is a ice cream bread hack. So you'll need one pint of ice cream, which is two cups. You're going to need one and one fourth cup of flour a loaf pan and the sprinkles is optional but i felt like it'll make it look really nice so the hack to this is you're supposed to make bread out of ice cream 
that's that's what it says and they say it's supposed to taste good so we'll see let's just get into making this all right so the ice cream has to be melted y'all so it is melted they said make sure the ice cream is melted so yeah it's pretty melted i mean it's a little still frozen not frozen but it's still really cold on the inside i'm gonna put this in the microwave so this can melt all the way like it was on the video so i want the ice cream up to make sure it could be really melted like it's supposed to be like it was on the video so i'm just stirring it up because these little chocolate chunks and stuff that's in here I'm trying to make sure it's not ice cream all right so then you're gonna go ahead and add the flour which is one and one fourth cup so let's stir this up I don't see how this will work. Flour and ice cream, like, I don't just, I don't, I'm not seeing how this will work. And honestly, this is real hard to um, mix, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. Ugh, this is how thick this is. How is this gonna turn into bread? I have no idea. And it's into here. I did already spray my pan, so. Okay, y'all, I had to get a fork because this um, whisk is not working for this. Like, this is way too thick. That's the best it was gonna get. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It looks nasty. So I'm about to go ahead and add the um, sprinkles on top. Y'all, I'm not feeling this hash because it's just a hot mess. But this is it with the sprinkles on top. Um, so now we have to put this in the oven at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to go put this in the oven and we're going to see in 35 to 40 minutes if this even works. I'm honestly scared to put this in the oven, but let's go do that. Okay, so my next hack is the pancake cereal hack. So you take your pancake mix and then you're going to put it into a pipetting bag or a Ziploc bag and you're going to squeeze and make little any bitty pancakes, right? Then you're going to put it into a bowl and pour syrup all over it and eat it like it's cereal, pancake cereal. I think this is going to work. I don't see why not. I mean, it's pretty like, you know, basic generic. So let's just start making the pancake mix. I'm gonna zip our bag and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the bag without making a mess, hopefully. Now that I have the pancake mix in the bag, we're gonna go ahead and go to the kitchen to start making this. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan, some coconut oil so it won't stick. All right, so this is the, the part right here. So you're gonna take some scissors and make the tiniest hole. And then we're going to make little mini pancakes. So I don't know how long this is gonna take me to make because it's so small. And most of the people that I looked at, most of the people that I saw in the videos had like a lot of pancakes in a bowl mini pancakes because it's supposed to oh we're messing up y'all hold on because it's supposed to look like cereal so i will see you guys once this part is completely done okay y'all so made the pancakes so this is what we got pancake cereal i'm gonna go ahead and take my syrup that's not even open yet we are going to pour this all over. Okay, that's enough. Right. It tastes exactly how I, I thought it was going to taste, but y'all, I don't know. It seems like really sweet to me. Like, as I just ate that, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I just got real nauseous and queasy. Cause it's too sweet. I don't know. Is it 
this is light syrup y'all maybe it's just too much syrup i don't know i don't like that maybe it's too sweet because i i'm not a fan of like super sweet stuff so the heck is a hit because it works right it it, it works but taste wise i'm good on it that's way too sweet for me i don't i'm good so now that that's over with let's go ahead and check in with our ice cream bread ice cream bread is down let me show y'all what it's looking like it does not look appealing whatsoever um let's cut into it i know they say you're supposed to wait for it to completely cool but who has time to do that nobody so let me just go ahead and so y'all this is what we got this is what it's looking like. Um, it's cake-like, like it's literally cakey on the inside. You know, I know y'all see all this steam coming from this hot. I mean, I know what it is, but ew, who ate, who eats this? Y'all, maybe you can only do this with certain ice cream. I'ma just say, stick with vanilla. I don't recommend anyone to try this. I'm gonna say this with a mint. Moment of truth, the watermelon. So let me show y'all what has happened over the last couple of hours. So this is what has happened in the last few hours. This one, is completely gone so i can go ahead and take this one out the orange fanta gone this okay this has less in it than this mountain dew um this mountain dew is still it's not a lot but this is less so i'm gonna pull this out first okay no mess look at that the color of this has changed remember this is green at first y'all it's red all up in here, so. Oh, God. Okay, that wasn't bad either. That wasn't bad either. As you can see, there's a lot of juice down here, too. Now, let's just cut into this thing. Juice is coming out of the watermelon, y'all. Oh, snap. Okay. A moment of truth. I got it open. Nothing. Nothing. It don't look appealing, appetizing. Ew. This is a fail. It does not work. Um, would I ever do this again in my life? No, it was a waste of a perfectly good watermelon. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video there. I will pretty much say every hack failed, except for the pancake one um but that was not good to me at all so technically i guess all of them failed personally for me um but thank you guys for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so you guys can join the family and make sure that you're notified every time i post a video and i should see you guys in my next one